All right, let's talk about COPD and some really hot topics that you're going to see on your nursing exams. I'm Professor Molly and I am a nursing professor. So what is COPD? It is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is the inflammation and destruction of the cilia and buildup of the mucus over time. So what happens is it builds up the CO2 levels in your body because you can't get that out. It gets trapped. So you're hypercapnic. Your CO2 is greater than 45 and you're hypoxic because the O2 can't get in and get past that mucus. So your O2 sats are low. So typically these people run about baseline 88, 92%. Well, number one cause is smoking. Smoking sensation, you're typically going to see that as an education question on your test, so it's really important to know that. So number one cause. Two is that you're going to see something about nutrition, and frequently what you're going to see is that they need higher protein because they lose weight, and so they are usually malnourished. So also eating small meals, and why is because they, when you eat larger meals, it pushes up on your diaphragms and causes you to be um, shorter breath and more difficult to um, catch your breath if you're fuller. So small frequent meals. Well, again, when I told you they are hypercapnic, which means high CO2 levels, greater than 45, they're hypoxic, their baseline runs around 88 to 92%. So watch giving them oxygen with caution, really important. If you give them too much oxygen, it pulls away their respiratory drive and it can cause respiratory failure. A lot of these patients are on home O2, so doing a history question and asking them that is very important. But again, knowing their baseline sat, following their orders, and typically we look at ABGs versus sometimes oxygen sats when we're, when we're titrating and giving them oxygen. So we're gonna be looking specifically at the PaO2 on their blood gases and their CO2 levels. I hope that makes sense. And you can find more information in my nursing notebook, especially because there's two types of um, the COPD, which is emphysema and the chronic bronchitis. So I break down the, the two different types as well. So hope you have a great day and hope that makes sense. You can find the COPD page in my nursing notebook. Have a great day.